guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna talk about that stuff like what's trending what's going on what been happening in the past like few weeks and stuff like that like VidCon happened like two weeks ago last weekend was um, Comic-Con um, and yeah that's basically what the video is gonna be about so VidCon was like two three weeks ago I think it was and then um so you have your famous youtubers in LA and whatever and people went to that obviously I'm not living in LA I live here if I was living in LA I would go to VidCon and stuff like that like I think that's a cool experience so I don't want to turn on my fan because it's very loud like very loud that's why I'm just like okay um that's a cool experience i would love to go make call one day and just like see my favorite youtubers and stuff like that that i watch and stuff so yeah another thing is comic con that happened on saturday and sunday and they were told like they had a riverdale panel supergirl um flash um everything really yeah and um the Riverdale ones, um, I watched like the interviews with um, KJ, with who, Cole, KJ, Camilla, Lily and Madeleine. Yes, I know all the real names. I'm such a stan. And um, they were explaining how um, season four, episode one is going to start out. So, um, you know, Luke Perry, rest in peace. Um, um he they're doing like a tribute video not a tribute tribute episode to him and f like him playing fred so i think they're doing like a emotional episode something because they can't keep saying oh my dad's gone wherever or whatever so they have to do this in some way that's um Close to, so they have to do a storyline for that which is really sad obviously it's really like personal as well like in real life and stuff like that so which is a good start to like the season and stuff um last season of Riverdale um that was kind of crazy warning might give some spoilers if you haven't watched the show you can skip like this part and whatever so basically right um in last season um Cheryl and Tony escaped from the farm so did Cheryl um Betty Jughead Veronica and Archie was um I think they're doing like this quest thing or whatever I can't remember because this was like back in like May when it like finished or whatever and um they would do some like quest thing like um oh what was it um the gargoyle king thing or whatever it was um gng griffins and gargoyles there we go because it reminds me of D D N D D N D. that's right and um penelope bossom who was cheryl's mom set up like this quest thing for them to do and they had to do challenges and then like they had to fight like chick and this like man beast thing that Archie had to fight and the girls had to drink these you know the chali chalices with like the blue Gatorade thing and like each like they had poison in it and Penelope set them up for to do that wow it just comes back to you when you talk about it and think about it as well when you think about it sorry about that oh my god sorry about that and um and like they did all survive and whatever like, you know when like after all that they um penelope's on the run somewhere so they have to try and find penelope oh yeah betty's dad is dead he got shot by penelope in the head like Phew. my face was just like okay she's evil she needs to go mm -hmm. um and also um so yeah, also, um, that's not it for the core four as well. Like, um, 
like the after all that they went to pops had a milkshake you know how it ends da, 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 at this season and then it gives a flash black flash forward to senior year um betty archie and veronica are standing around like a fire or whatever and they're covered and they're in their like underwear sorry that's kind of that's how it was though if you don't believe me you can watch like the last episode or whatever they're covered in blood and like who was holding jughead's beanie it's either archie or betty i don't know who it was and they're holding jughead's beanie and i was like okay so did they kill jughead did somebody else kill jughead did they want them to like whatever and then but it's like oh we need to burn our clothes as well and then Betty's like, we never speak to each other again, we never tell anyone that. I was like, oh, okay. So th does that mean Jughead's dead? Like, we don't know what's going to happen to him, but we don't see him in that final, like, end, end bit, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah, there's that. Um, oh, yeah, Stranger Things. I didn't talk about that, did I, on this channel yet? Stranger Things came out two three weeks ago on the 4th of july and let me tell you that was mad season three was so good it was so good it was better than season two season three was fire literally fire like fire and like the last episode was so good honestly it was like an hour and like 10 minutes or whatever seven minutes i don't even remember and um, it was so good. Um, the cast were great. Everything was great about it. I can't wait for season four, which is literally next year. Because <laughs> they, uh, with Stranger Things, it's not like every other TV show. When they, like, because everything coming is coming back in October, right? Like Supergirl, Riverdale, Batwoman's new, um, The Flash, DC Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, whatever like with stranger things like they do um one season every single year which is kind of cool because it makes you wait and see what happens next and whatever um with this in this final episode right so they have to turn off the machine that the people are trying to trying to reopen the gate to the upside down And I just started watching this. I started watching this like a month ago, Stranger Things. Cause for a long time, everybody said to me, "Oh, why don't you watch it?" I'm like, <laughs> like, but then I got into it, and now I'm such a fan. So yeah, I'm stan now. Honestly, it was so. And like, anyway, back to them. And then like, the when, what's Will's mom name? Jill, Joyce, Joyce. Sorry. Um, she had to turn the keys and Hopper was fighting this he was like Terminator this guy this literally like Terminator like do 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 literally had to fight him and do and like um Hopper there we go Jim was like uh, still outside the thing where the machine was still going and then he was like just turn the keys and she went like and then everyone exploded but we didn't see him explode yeah we didn't see him explode but i'm thinking he's not dead to be honest like we don't know if we will see him. Like, I want to see him in season four, to be honest. Like, he, he's a good character. I love Jim Hopper. Like, I ship him and Joy so much. Like, I was like, you're get, just getting together now when it's, like, literally, like, the end of the season. Like, what are you doing? Like, but they they fit together so much. And Jan C and Eleven and Ma To be honest, not gonna lie, I thought... Is it Will? Yeah. Will and Eleven would get together. No offense to Mike. I thought Will and Eleven would got together like in season one. That's my opinion. Like I shit, I shit them like, like crazy. But I never thought Mike and Eleven would like get together. No offense, but but they kind of make a 
the cup on the way and like um his phone name's Kate Luke, Lucas and Max they make a good couple I like them and Dustin has his girlfriend Susie who lives in wherever I forgot where she lives and they sang that song never ending story ah, 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 ah. the stars eh. What you, what you see? I want to show you the thing. Can I show you the thing? I don't want to get copyrighted though. Um, I think Millie did like a whole Millie Bobby Brown did like a whole thing. Is it even on their Instagram? I don't even know. Okay, I have to. Yeah, I have to do. This is not the whole thing, but. They did that. Uh, she did like a thing to that. I think it's a challenge now or something, which is kind of sick. And yeah, so it was really, yeah, I like that song. And I love Strange Things. Keep coming with the seasons, please. I love you so much. Um, so we talked about Riverdale. I love it. Yeah, um, yeah, Riverdale. And then we have The Flash and Supergirl. I don't think I have seen the trailers for that yet. Sorry. Um, I think, also my dad told me that, um, Jimmy Olsen from Supergirl, this one, he's quitting and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna, gonna miss him. First win, quit. Now Jimmy, he's gonna run Catco, like, what, what's going on? Like, like, you know what I mean? And then the Flash, oh, oh. the Flash, no offence, but like... Season one and season two. What season is it? Five now, six? I don't even know. Like, um, it's a good show, but like some of the storylines are kind of dead. Not gonna lie. I think I like Supergirl more because like, with her, like she's. Someone's outside breaking right the whatever. Um, she's she's more like involved and whatever with him like even though she has a side job working at catco and whatever she still managed her superhero life with her normal life but with barry allen he manages his yeah i think he manages more with his police life than his as the flash because in the last season we had his daughter from the future which made no fucking sense sorry um and that was kind of weird that they didn't have the kid yet and she came and whatever. Like, it was kind of dead. And I missed out a few weeks and I was like, I'm not... And I then I watched the last episode that came out. I was like, oh, okay. It... Uh, uh, it's not... Uh. I like Supergirl more, to be honest. Like, out of all of them. Like, it's more action, to be honest. Um. Also, Marvel. <gasps> Marvel. Marvel bringing it out fam Marvel bringing it out you have no idea Marvel is just whew. Marvel's bringing these movies left right and center and we don't even know like so we uh have Blade don't know what that is um it was not announced at Comic Con with Mashala Ali. Sorry if I say your name wrong. And then we have the Black Widow movie. 
Um, David Harbour's in it. Our man, David Harbour, you know what I'm saying? From Stranger Things, he's doing so well. Like, he has his own other film on Netflix. I don't know, it's called Frankenstein something. I don't know what it is. But it looks really, really, like, good. I might watch it. Maybe not, maybe. Um, so we have Black Widow with Scarlett Johansson, David Harbour, Florence Pro O dash T. I can't even say that. If it is May 1st, 2020. So that's like next year, May. Wow. Um, if you didn't see Endgame, she's dead. <laughs> Sorry, she's dead. So, how they're making the movie if she's dead? You get the common sense. Okay, moving on. Then we have Thor and Love and Thunder, which is coming out November 5th, 2021. Oh my god, I'm gonna be 19 then. Oh my god, time's going so fucking fast, honestly. That's mad. So, we have Chris Hemsworth, T Tessa Thompson. Oh, yeah, I know Tessa Thompson, kind of. Natalie Portman, and turns as director. Also, there's tea going around. I don't think it's true, but there's going to be a female four. And I'm just like, here. Eh. When I told my dad, he didn't believe me. So I'm going to do some research right now, see if there's a female four coming. Because I'm just like, okay, that's good for feminist and feminism and whatever, but I'm just so confused, like... Uh, oh my god, I even spelled it wrong. Uh, going to be... Oh, uh, strange. <laughs> Is there gonna... Oh, I can't even see it. My friends do. Is there gonna be a strange in season four? That's the first thing that came up. Uh, that's too much. Yeah, <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> okay, film four is coming to the Marvel Universe. Four will now be the first Marvel Cinematic in addition to Portman and Hensworth. Tessa Thompson will reprise her role as Valkyrie. Oh yeah, Tessa Tommy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know her. I love her so much. Okay. Everyone, I think. Oh, it's her. So Natalie Portman is gonna be, um, female four. Okay. I thought this was all a lie and my mum's partner was lying to me on the phone because I spoke to him and I didn't really want to speak to him, TBH, but you know, it's fine. Oh, this is, I can't, oh, fuck off with the cookies. Okay. Oh, she's going to be in the love and, for love and thunder. Okay. I can't be asked right, okay. Um... I'm not sure about this one, guys. Like, if she does a good job, then yeah. Like, um, what's her name? Who plays Captain Marvel? I forgot her name. But Captain Marvel was a good film, TBH. Like, that, I think that was, like, the first female superhero, like, Marvel film that came out. Like, yeah. I enjoyed it. Like, I, I, like, I watched it at the same one, and I watched it whatever. So yeah, um, then we got Hulk Guy, with Jeremy Runner, an original series that will also introduce Kate Bishop, streaming excuse food on Disney Plus for, oh, so it's coming up for 2021, man, Marvel's busting it out, like, they're, like, they're, they're announcing every, like, thing, which is good, because after, <clears throat> I got some tea on um, Spider-Man Far Far From Home, but I'll leave that till the end of the video. It's my opinion, my opinion only. Um, and then we have Marvel Studios What If, and the first animated series, the MCU, with Jeremy White, the voice of the Watcher, and many actors across from the MCU reprising their roles as voice talent. Okay, so it's like a series. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, because they do series, isn't it? So they did this one with, like, the girls. I don't know what it was called. I think it's, like, Young Marvel Heroes or something like that. I haven't watched it yet, but it looks good. And um, I did watch um, Spider... Mm, spider universe that was a good film i liked that as well oh we have another doctor strange hey 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 i love doctor strange he he was good like even though he got in endgame but you know he was good still um just i'm uh, not in endgame oh my god in infinity war sorry okay What's this? Doctor Strange in the multi universe of man is with Bennett Cum Cumberbatch, Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, yeah, Elizabeth Olsen is Wanda. Yeah. Scott Derrickson as returns as in fit is May 7th, 2021. Bruh. Loki? But I. No, in Endgame, no, no, he's not dead. No, don't tell me he he's not dead. Honestly, like in in Infinity War, we saw Thanos choke him. Is that like, like, just choke him and be cool. But in Endgame, like when they went back, he was still alive. So there you go, people. I rest my case. Okay. Um. Yeah, so Tom Hiddleston, who plays Loki, is going to be in this film, obviously, because it's called his Loki, obviously. And it's going to be in spring 2021. we got Wanda and Vision with um, Elizabeth Olsen, Paul, Brittany, and yeah. And then that's coming in spring 2021. Jeez, Marvel's pit. And then Shang-Chi, Legend of Ten Rings. I don't know what this is. I haven't heard of it. Um, it's coming out for in February 2021. 12th of February 2021. I haven't heard of that. Then we have Falcon and the Winter Soldier. To be honest, I thought Steve Rogers would give the shield to Bucky. I know it says in the comments that he gives it to Falcon, but he should have gave it to Bucky. Anyways, um... Uh, with um, yeah, da, 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 and it's coming out in fall 2020. Oh my god, that's next year, autumn. Jeez. And then you have, I can't even say that. Infinite. It's on their Instagram. I'll show you the picture, but I can't. Yeah. Um. It's coming out 6th of November 2020. That's next year. So that's all the Marvel movies or series or Jesus or whatever that's like coming out. Also, Miraculous. Yes, I do watch Miraculous Ladybug, truth be told. Um, Pony Kagami gets a, um, a, dra is it a dragon? Miraculous? I don't know. And then Luca got the snake one and I'm, and then Kim got the monkey one. Like, what's going on? Like... I think just to help, is it Marinette? Yeah, Marinette, aka Ladybug, out when she fights different villains. It's not villains, but like transform people. I don't know what they're called in Miraculous. I forgot. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's today's video, guys. Um, if you want me, oh yeah, back to far, f yeah, far from home. <laughs> I saw Spider Man, not last week, the week before, right? With my dad we went to the cinema we went early like in the morning early oh sorry in the morning early right we went it was more funny than action and after endgame i thought they would live up to the thing but no far from home wasn't that good to be honest like it wasn't that good in my opinion. I like Homecoming more. Homecoming was like the best one. Like this one was kind of shit. So don't waste your... Uh, people on Snap, don't waste your money going seeing Far From Home. Don't go and see that. See Lion King or see Toy Story or see... I don't even know what's out at the moment to be honest. Or see a horror film. I don't flipping know. 
but see something good that you spend your money on. Go bowling. Don't see Far From Home. It's so shit. If you like it, it's up to you. But in my opinion, it was so fucking shit. I didn't even like it. That's how bad it was. Anyways, guys. So let's do a tip of the day. <clears throat> also, I'm going out today with my friend. And I'm going out Thursday. <laughs> and then next week, um, my friends are coming around for dinner. To then let me know if they are coming. Can't wait to see them. Um, hopefully that woman will let me know. And they know who they are. Because they watch my YouTube videos. And they need to know by... Next... Not next Friday. What am I talking about? Mm, this week... Friday or Saturday. The latest. So yeah. When you need a few words of encouragement, support and inspiration, believe at if as if life like you already have it, it's coming. I like that. So, like, if you're, like, last week, as you saw in my video, I was kind of down about things, about stuff, about people, you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you have support from your friends and family, that's all you need and stuff like that. And whoever inspires you, just look up to them and just, like, you know, whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would link the Luke Perry... The tribute video that I did for Luke Perry, sorry, couldn't think then, down below. Um, I put last week, I put, I'm going to put last week's video down below. Um, follow my social medias, follow me on Snapchat, it's play underscore it cool 40, cool with a K by the way, so yeah. Um, Instagram, ki underscore more 17 business email is gonna be down there so yeah um i hope you guys like this video please give please press that red subscribe button down below ding that notification bell when you know i upload every single tuesday you know what i'm saying so yeah um give it a like um share it with your friends and family whoever you want to share it with you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video have a good day have a good week you know what i'm saying so yeah so bye my beautiful wonderful something it's so hard i gotta fake i can make it a great